What's up guys, it is March 18th, 2018. I'm back in El Nido, got here yesterday, and it is about 7.30 in the morning. I'm headed to the port now because I'm actually leaving El Nido and heading to the island of Quran, Palawan. Will I cry? Will I leave behind? Broken and crumbled signs Hiding all my roads to arrived in the town of Quran after a seven hour uh, boat ride so it ended up being a little more than expected but they always give you a range like six to eight hours so seven hours um, so that was the slow boat option which was 1200 pesos and there was a fast boat option for 1760 pesos but I didn't really want to pay that extra money and I heard it can be kind of nauseating because it's very fast so I went with the slow boat so that giant ferry behind me that says to go is the one I'm actually going to be taking to head back to Manila in four days and I'm going to try to see if I can book that right now just to get that out of the way because I'm going to fly out of Manila to leave the Philippines on the 25th today's the 18th so I have one more week and yeah so let me try to do that now so as far as the ferry back to Manila I understand that they only leave twice a week on Sundays with like today and Thursdays which is why I have to go with Thursday because that's the last one I can do before the day of my flight so I'll have two nights in Manila and it's an overnight ferry 16 hours approximately so you arrive early in the morning the next day so quick update I couldn't book my ferry ticket yet because apparently the, the system was online at the to-go office so I'm gonna try again tomorrow and I also hadn't booked a hostel well I had booked one but I canceled it because I heard there's other better ones and you can just do walk-ins so I came to one that was highly recommended called the Hop Hostel and they had the vacancies and it's not the cheapest but it's really nice to check it out and check out the view the sunset is gonna be amazing look forward to that and my bed is huge it is so big I had actually asked if it was only like half of the bed that I was sharing with someone else but no it's all mine so I'm really excited about that So they've got a rooftop bar here at the hostel and just in time for the sunset I've come up here so let's enjoy the sunset. actually the next day. I haven't managed to do any tourist activities yet because I've actually been feeling pretty sick. I had a stomach bug from a couple days ago that started probably in El Nido or Nakpan Beach and it got really bad yesterday after like sunset and stuff so I was like just not able to do anything. Today I went to the doctor and I got prescribed with an antibiotic so I'm starting to feel a little bit better but yeah I haven't been able to do anything and there's this main like tour that takes you to some really beautiful sightseeing spots that I'm probably gonna wait until not tomorrow but the next day because that'll be my last full day here. Yeah, so I'm just gonna give another day tomorrow to take it a little bit easy, maybe see something around the city or who knows. But the big tour I'll do in two days. And I also I was able to book my ticket to Manila on the ferry, the Tugo ferry, and that'll be on Thursday. So that today's Monday, so three days from now. What's up guys? It is day three here in Quran. Today's gonna be another pretty relaxed day. I'm still recovering. I'm feeling a lot better than I did like yesterday morning. And, but yeah, I'm just gonna allow myself to just have a kind of low energy day so I can just keep recovering, get even better for tomorrow because tomorrow I am doing the tour I signed up for. It. It's like the ultimate Quran island hopping tour, something like that. And it should be really good. So tomorrow's gonna be a good, good day for vlogging today. There won't be much to vlog, but I'm just gonna take the opportunity to do some work. So right now I'm just gonna go into town and find something to eat for lunch. You guys saw I just had lunch at this little restaurant called Brujita. Hello. Juliana, what's your name? Nice to meet you. Hello. 
Hello. Hello. I'm Pink. <laughs> nice to meet you. Those kids are so cute. So yeah, the restaurant's called Ruhida. It had been recommended to me before I got to Quran. So I decided to go give it a try. They have a number of international dishes. And when I saw they had something they called burrito, it was more like a quesadilla. I had that craving for Mexican food. So I went with that and it was really good. What's up guys, it is March 21st, day four in Quran, and it's finally time for the ultimate Quran boat tour. Let's do this. I will stay to find every hidden sign. Okay, so our first stop is Kayangan Lake, which is a famous viewpoint. We have to walk up 360 something steps, and then after we can go down into the lake and do some snorkeling. So let's go. to make it quick with the pictures. Alright, check out this beautiful lake. That water is so amazing. It's actually insane how clear that water is. Can't wait to take a dip and use this new snorkeling mask that I have. Someone gave me just like the full face mask when I was in Nakpan Beach because they had some other traveler had passed it on to them but it didn't fit them so they offered it to me and I'm like yeah, works on me so I'm excited to use that one. Okay, this is our next stop. It's called Twin Lagoon, and that the reason for the name is because this lagoon has a twin, but the po boats can't get to it. We have to climb this little ladder over there and get to the other side. And when the tide is low, we can actually swim through a tunnel, but obviously the tide is not low, so we're gonna swim to get to the ladder, get to the other side. So there's one lagoon. lunch in this little beach here. We got another piece here. Man, this looks good. Okay, this is our next stop. It's called the Skeleton Shipwreck. So let's get our snorkeling gear and see what we find.
at their best, but the water starts getting in the mask. And it's hard to go very deep before you need to like come back up. So, yeah, you need to really learn how to scuba dive. That'd be ideal. So our last stop is actually two good stops in one combined. We got the beach over here, and we got a good swimming spot right back there. And that water looks beautiful, so yeah, let's do it. Just got up, something's wrong I waited up with wounds on my feet Where will you be? Flickering through memories The Polaroids, yellow Those were sea urchins, I hadn't noticed them earlier I thought they were much smaller Wow, crazy now We're at the beach with the time we have left It's crowded but it's pretty Longing to be seen So come and hide Hide with me Hide with me Hide with me Come and hide Hide with me So we actually have one more stop and it's right here It's the Coral Gardens So this should be the best snorkeling, hopefully Let's check it out That's the end of what was an awesome tour of Quran, the highlights. Really cool, recommend it for sure. What's up guys, it is March 22nd, 2018. I'm here in Quran, but I'm heading to the port because in less than two hours, my ferry to Manila, my overnight ferry, is gonna be departing. So it's gonna be a long 16 hour journey, I believe. And yeah, let's see how it is. Spot, check it out. At least I get sleep in this place. And we're back in Manila after a 15 hour journey on that ferry. Okay, I'm on my Uber to my accommodation now. Uh, the driver just made a stop for the bathroom. There's a lot of traffic, so I'm getting a taste of that Manila morning traffic. And it's pretty crazy. I'm just gonna chill here for a couple of nights, try to catch up on some work. I've been really having a hard time uploading videos. The internet has been so bad almost everywhere I've been here in the Philippines. So I haven't even been able to upload a video in like two weeks. Like right now I have two videos ready to upload. And so hopefully I'll be able to do that here, maybe get some more edits done. And yeah, and then in two days on Sunday, March 25th, I will be flying uh, to another country. Somewhere I've been before. It's gonna be a brief stay before I go to a new country. You'll see what I'm up to. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. We'll see you guys in two days when I head back off to that country that I just talked about. Peace.